Hey, welcome again to Tasty Tuesday. And today I am making a cake to take to our family reunion. Um, I don't usually bring a dessert to family reunion for some reason, but um, today I found this recipe for a German cheesecake and it's made with blueberries. And right now we have so many fabulous blueberries. I think people often think of German desserts, well, of course, German chocolate cake, but strudel and apple kuchen. But this is a cheesecake with blueberries and I'm doing it in my springform pan. If you don't have a springform pan, go get one because they're so awesome for so many things. And really this dessert would not work in anything but the springform pan. Well, okay, I take that back. You could just cut it up like a regular cake, but for it to be really pretty, uh, you wanna be able to take the sides off of your springform pan. So let's get started. Hopefully this gonna work. First time I've made it. Um, so the first ingredients we are um, putting together four ounces of cream cheese with one tablespoon of milk. I've got 2% milk here. You could use any kind. Four tablespoons of vegetable oil and a half a cup of sugar. Oops, I forgot to grab my egg. I do that all the time. Be right back. One egg. Just a little bit of salt, a pinch if you will, and one teaspoon of really good vanilla. All right, just using my hand mixer today, I didn't get out my big mixer, so we're just going to make this nice and smooth. cream cheese mixture uh, pretty smooth and I'm going to add to it now um, let's see what do we have one and two-thirds cup of flour all-purpose flour I'm not gonna put it in all at once I'm gonna mix it in a little bit slowly and add the rest as well as four teaspoons of baking powder. And mix. All right, we have a pretty stiff dough, as you can see, and I'm going to um, now let me clean off my beaters. This becomes basically the crust, um, although it's it's not as firm as a crust, as like a pie crust. Now into my well-greased springform pan, I'm going to dump this. I'm gonna have to use my hands, and then I'm gonna work it up the sides. So I want to show you this because this took some time. You really want to uh, use your fingers, bring the dough up uh, along the sides as best you can, and then you need to go back and make sure there are no holes. I just saw a hole on the sides and in the bottom, because you don't want your um, custardy ingredients, which we're just going to add here shortly, to uh, go through any holes. So there it is. And now we have six and a half cups of whole blueberries. I think I'm gonna use all these. I'm gonna see how they come together here. I washed these this morning and made sure there were no stems um, and then I laid them on a towel to dry out because I don't want a lot of water in here. So let's pour these in. See if I can get them all in. I don't know, I might not. 
I'd say that's about, well, okay, yeah, they're all in. It's about six and a half cups. Okay, now we're going to make the uh, cheesy topping. Now, I have my oven at 350 degrees heating up and I am going to have, uh, let's see, I have two tablespoons of butter. I have half a cup of sugar. And I have eight ounces of cream cheese. Next, I am adding one egg. To that, we are adding one teaspoon of vanilla. And one tablespoon of cornstarch. And the last thing is five tablespoons of milk. This is 2% milk. Okay, using our hand mixer again. That is our topping. Here is our blueberries. I put this on a cookie sheet again to save myself from um, work later after it's in my oven. So I'm going to just take this and I'm pouring it evenly over the top. And I might have to use the spoon to kind of get it all over the place. Well, it looks beautiful. Nice lemony color from that beautiful egg. All right, let's move it around a little. So this will go into the oven at 350 for about an hour, maybe as long as 70 minutes. Um, but you want to really be careful not to overcook it um, while making sure that your edges aren't burnt, but you're getting it cooked all the way through in the middle. So I'm going to have to keep my eye on it pretty close. And that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll come back and show you when it comes out of the oven. Here is our beautiful cake. And I double checked how to say this in German. It's Käsekuchen. Käse, oh, it just came right off. Käsekuchen, which means cheesecake. And this is a blueberry version. And I could not be happier with the way it turned out. It looks just spectacular. Let me see if I can get it on my pretty plate here. It's so thick, isn't it? Just lovely. So I am not cutting this until tomorrow, um, but when I do, we'll be able to see all those six and a half cups of blueberries on the inside of this thing. It's like a brick. <laughs> it probably weighs five pounds. So I'm excited to take this tomorrow to our event and I think everyone will love it. And it really wasn't hard. So, Keza Kuchen, Keza Kuchen with blueberries from my kitchen on Tasty Tuesday. Thanks for joining me, I'll see you next week.